hello everyone it's Carrie welcome back to my channel welcome back to card number 10 in my holiday card series for 2016 and today I wanted to focus on doing a more simple card for uh, this tutorial so I've got just a piece of cardstock here in my stash this is fog cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and I've gathered up four of my glitter tapes here these are self-adhesive and these are made by American Crafts and I just have these in my stash. I have multiple colors of these and you can buy both colors. I believe I actually bought these um, whenever I initially bought them. They were in a multi-pack. So I had a lot of colors at one time. So I'm taking this wonky stitch die here from MFT and I'm just going to take my pencil here and draw a guideline just to see where my die is going to land once I do die cut this. So this won't matter that this is on here because you'll never see it. And I'm going to take each of my tapes here and I'm going to place them at a diagonal on each of the corners here, the upper right and the lower left corner. First, I'm taking the green color and now I'm going to peel back the backing off of the uh, silver here and butt that one up right up against that green. And these are really, really fun. They're really great um, glitter tapes. The glitter does not come off. So that's a good, that's a plus. And it's just an instant gratification to get some really um, high shine and shimmer on a project. So um, if I can't find them, if they still do make them, I believe they do, I will go ahead and list a link them below in the video description for, for you. So I've got my two that, that I'm going to put together at the lower left, and now I'm going to go with the red and then the gold on the upper right. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this now. If you're one of those that is <clears throat> kind of a kind of more of a perfectionist, if you will, uh, on something like this, you really want to make sure that you're getting it even uh, to, by measuring it with your uh, ruler or T ruler and your pencil. By all means, go ahead and do that. But me, for me, I was you know I'm usually pretty good. I feel that I'm just eyeballing these types of things. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just eyeballing it. Um, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we are die cutting this out. So I'm just kind of trimming off the excess here so I can go ahead and work with what I placed onto my cardstock. So I'm just kind of cutting them away from the roll there. And you can kind of see how this is going to kind of look here. And all I'm doing, you can do one of two ways. You can go ahead and bend them back on themselves, kind of fold them like I'm doing here on the cardstock. Or you're more than welcome to go ahead and cut these flush to the cardstock. Either way, it's it won't matter. We are going to, like I said, to be die cutting this with this wonky stitch die. So it will put that stitched edge all the way around, and it will make a clean, uh, it will clean make a clean border. So you can see how that is turning out with that die, and I really really do like it with the glitter tape. And now at the thought I've decided to go ahead and add just a little bit of definition around the edges. So I would thought I would take some black ink. You can take any black ink for this and take my blending tool. And then it's going around the edge and this will help define the edge just a little bit um, because this is going to be a very, very simple and design card. So I wanted to accent it as much as I could with the little, little touches here and there. So now I'm taking this stamp set here from my sentiment. This is from Mama Elephant. It's called Jingle Greetings. And I'm taking this one here. I believe this one says Festive Greetings. And it just fits perfectly inside that middle space of my panel here. So I'll just line that up onto my acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp that down with my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And so I've got that all stamped down. And you can see it's really, really simple. But it really is, you know, pretty with the glitter tapes. So now I'm going to create another panel to add this to it. And I created um, that panel using the stitched square die from, this is the largest of the stitched squares from Lawn Fawn. And I've got this washi tape here that was in my stash. It's a wide striped, green striped washi tape. And I'm going to add that right in the middle because I, I want to keep this as much as simple as I could, but I didn't want to add pattern paper. And I thought this would be a really great accent to do that. So I have used my die and to run that back through my die cutting machine to get that stitched edge all the way around. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now I'm taking my foam tape here and adding it right up against the very, very edge of my panel simply because this was um, extra, I guess, bulkiness to this cardstock and it made it warp just a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Especially since um, we used that glitter tape, it's a little bit th thicker. And so it made it warp just a little bit on the edges. So that's why I added it 
to the edges as well as the middle of the cardstock. So I'm adding this to my panel here, making that good and adhered. And now I'm taking a piece of another white, uh, some more white cardstock, and we're going to make a five by five square card. So I'm going to score this at five with my Teflon bone folder here, and just make sure I've got a really good crease on that. It's going to be um, a top fold card. I'm just going to fold that back on itself and get a really good crease on that. And then I'm going to take just some regular liquid glue adhesive and get that all the way um, all over the back of my panel here. I'm just kind of lining up, make sure that I like the way things are turning out. And so I'm going to get all of my glue on the back here, and this will help me line up my panel onto my white card base. So once I've got that all done, I'm going to line this up and get this all square. It won't take long at all, and it's really easy with this liquid glue to do that. So I kind of turned it to the side just a little bit to kind of help me eyeball it to line it up and just kind of um, shift it over if I needed to. So for a final touch, I thought I'd take these gemstones here from Hero Arts and take one of the smaller ones, the very, very smallest ones in the pack, and take my craft knife here and just um, kind of cut one off of the little strip here because this is a full strip and add it to the dot of the eye. And that completes our card for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching.